we're back. It's the 2022 edition of the GFNY World Championship in New York City. The GFNY World Championship is the most international cycling race on the planet with over 6,500 registered riders from nearly 100 different countries. It's also the culmination of the GFNY Global Endurance Sports Series, which now features over 40 events in places like France, Colombia, Italy, Ecuador, Mexico, Peru, Bali, Uruguay, the Dominican Republic, and across the USA. For a 10th spectacular year, pro and amateur cyclists lined up on the historic George Washington Bridge to take on the tough 100-mile course to Bear Mountain and back. The start of the championship is always fast, but this year, due to the fog, racers were more conservative than usual as they swept through Fort Lee and into Palisades Interstate Park. It wasn't until the climb at Alpine Hill that one rider decided to try his luck. Fortunato Ferrara of Italy launched an attack, separating himself from the field. But he was soon joined by Americans Connor Polvidente and Nick Wheatley Schaller as the race turned onto Route 9W. Another small group briefly tried to bridge up to the leaders, but the furious pace of Ferrara, Polvedente, and Wheatley Schaller kept the chasers at bay. By the time the trio approached Baby Bear, a large pack was nearly five minutes behind. Wheatley Schaller suffered the fate of so many other ambitious riders cracking on the ascent of Bear Mountain. Ferrara and Polvedente took control as they flew up Perkins Drive towards the top of Bear. Ferrara topped Bear first, and pulled and they fell back. But the chase group of 13 was getting closer. On the way to Gate Hill, it was just Ferrara braving it alone in front with the ravenous pack bearing down only two minutes behind. At the approach to Chisco, two other Italians, Luca Vergalito of Officine Matteo and SWAT Club's Mattia Grafuri launched off the front of the chase group, eventually joining their compatriot near the Pomona aid station. The trio worked together until the state line when Ferreira's valiant earlier blitz finally caught up with him. Now it was down to the final two. Vergalito and Grafuri sped back up River Road as the two Italians kept up the pace. Despite Grafuri's efforts at the line, it was Vergalito who had the freshest legs. Luca Vergolito won in a time of 4.17.53, Grafuri was second, and the Chilean Adrian Alvarado overtook an exhausted Ferreira for third. And in the women's race, a dominant performance by the Italian Samantha Arnaldo, who led the entire race. In second was German pro Hanna Fondel and former GFNY champion Jill Patterson in third. After the race, participants received their medals on the red carpet before meeting friends and family at the GFNY Finnish Village in Fort Lee. And for the most dedicated riders, a special 10 times GFNY multi-finisher medal. At the GFNY Cafe, fans kicked back and caught all the race action on the big screen. And at the exclusive GFNY Hospitality Suite, VIPs got a little extra pampering. At GFNY, there's always plenty of fun for everyone, with great food, music, drinks, and of course, prizes. The overall men's and women's champions were awarded an incredible all-expense-paid trip to the GFNY NYC World Championships in 2023. And it's not a real podium without a little champagne. The next day, some of the winners gathered at the top of the George Washington Bridge for a very special GFNY honor a view fit for a champion. For the GFNY World Championship, thanks again for watching. And don't wait, sign up today for a GFNY race and be a pro for a day.